Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions uh, Coffee Hour while I play The Binding of Isaac. It's kind of like my own Good Mythical Morning, except it goes up at like 4 p.m. And I'm not funny. In any case, uh, the last run was really interesting and infuriating, and I was so done with it, but at the same time, then we won and I felt pretty good about it. It's like going on a roller coaster or something like that. Or, you know, walking through a haunted house. You feel pretty shitty. We're gonna end up re-rolling this. I've said my piece on Forget Me Now enough times that you should know that I think this item is grossly overrated. But you know what's not grossly overrated? The wafer. Seriously, have you ever had? They're like great cookies. It's just a wafer thin. In any case. One more bomb would be sweet to access that other tinted rock. But I think, oh my, Lanta, I am gonna be well protected and, uh... Well, uh, financed as well, apparently. As we get ready to do this. But yeah, it was like, uh, the last run was a little bit like being on a, a roller coaster. You know, you maybe throw up, feel sick to your stomach, think that you're gonna die. Um, one time I was on a roller coaster, I was at Canada's Wonderland, which is like the premier amusement park in Canada, I guess. It's in Vaughan, which is near Toronto, Ontario. Anyway, there's a roller coaster called the Bat. And what it does is it goes up and you do like a forward loop while you're moving forward. And then like some corkscrews. And then you do the same thing backwards. Like you get to the top and then you just let gravity take you down and you go backwards through the loop. How exciting. It's actually one of the rides that as I understand it is considered, you know, kind of like a little bit more of a boring ride. You know, you're not shitting your pants but it's still kind of thrilling. Anyway. Uh, my glasses were like a little bit too loose for my head, so when I went over the first loop, like right as we began the upward, I'm talking with my hands here, which would probably be like very useful to illustrate it if you're wondering what the heck's going on. Yeah, we're just gonna take this. We're also gonna have uh, four spirit hearts right off the bat, which is absurd, but great uh, portent for our future deal with the devil chances. Anyway, we go up the, you know, the ascendant part of the loop. And then my glasses fall off my head, and there's like a moment where they're just kind of hanging in front of me. I got lucky, I grabbed them. But the ride's not over, right? Then you go up to the top, I'm just clutching them in like my hands. Gravity takes over, pulls us back down, and I gotta like white knuckle my glasses the whole ride. To be honest with you, I don't really like roller coasters. Um, I, I am uh, I'm a little bit afraid of heights, to some extent. And I hate being made fun of for being afraid of heights, right? Oh, careful, that's alright. Um, because people always act like being afraid of heights is irrational. I think it's totally rational. In fact, I think there's a lot of rationality uh, in behind a lot of phobias. Even though I have no, uh, no fear necessarily of snakes or spiders, if you have fear of snakes or spiders, there are poisonous snakes and spiders. That makes sense. But anyway, people are always like, oh, you're afraid of heights? Stop being such a big freaking baby. You're like a thousand feet in the freaking sky. Mankind was not meant to be a thousand feet in the sky, it was te we technology. We've made the world our bitch, basically. Fuck you, gravity. But at the same time, I think it's you know your animal brain is like, get me out of here. I want to live in the meadows again. Long story short, I barely remember what I was talking about earlier. But that last run was like a roller coaster. It feels bad, and then at the end, you're like, hey, that scared the shit out of me. Mission accomplished, I guess. Uh, that was exhilarating, you know. Ain't it good to be alive? I've already lost one and a half spirit hearts on this floor. Basically, feel like a big piece of human trash right now. But this should be uh, our our celebration. This should be our triumph here on this floor. We have 19 cents, two keys, a full D6 charge, and enough spirit hearts to pretty much guarantee that we're going to get a uh, deal with the devil, unless something goes drastically wrong, which it sort of has to start with here. Um, I got to stop getting hit by exactly the people I just got hit by. But thank God we got as many spirit hearts as we did. Otherwise, this would go down as a total throw right now. I fucking a told a throw. That doesn't really make any sense. Ooh, that was a little bit of a tight dodge. I, you know, physically tensed up there. That's okay. We've got our item room and another key, thankfully. Uh, little Chub is bad. I doubt I'll get another reroll, but I think we're in a, a privileged enough position that I wouldn't actually pick up Little Chad. I like to pick up. Oh, come on. That works still. I like to pick up Little Chad sometimes. Not always, though. Um,. And in fact, more rarely, I think, than, than uh, I ignore it. But when we're in such a good position, we shouldn't pick up Little Chad, because then we can parlay our advantages into, you know, maybe something... That Basically, we don't need Little Chad to survive, and if Little Chad isn't going to help us survive, there's no point to it, because that's the whole ammo of the freaking item. So if we're uh, not on death's door, we don't need to take Little Chad, we can try to get something better, or at least not ruin the potential synergy that we'd have with the relic. Full stop. All right. This Duke of Flies is annoying. If I was on the first floor, I would just pop another bomb down here and, uh, you know, pop an apple in his ass and he'd be dead. But instead, 
I am gonna save this bomb because there's like a 50% chance of us finding the secret room, which is good enough for me to take. And we are gonna get a deal with the devil. I lost two and a half spirit hearts, I think, on this floor, which is truly awful, but whatever, we're through it. These items are worth a reroll, which means we're probably not gonna reroll little Chad. Although we could, you know, it's been a little while since we became Guppy. Let's go nuts here and we'll take the one hard Guppy's tail deal. At the very least, this guarantees us deal with the devil precedent. We reroll that, it becomes Brimstone. We didn't have Brimstone on our last run. I'm taking it here. Uh, this also does not make us especially strong for where we are in the game. So don't get too bent out of shape just yet. A Temperance card is sweet if we have a deal with the devil on this floor. Our pill is tears down, which sucks, but it's not the end of the world, all things considered. <clears throat> So I really doubt we will find an arcade on this floor, but when we do, we'll have Temperance. Hopefully we'll have more HP to back it up with as well. Alright, and despite our Tears Downgrade... Well, I mean, our Tears Downgrade doesn't matter that much is what I'm trying to get at, because we already are making a uh, decent amount of damage. I'm gonna take the Tarot card. It's the Hanged Man. Um, does this not allow me to get something? I thought this allowed me to get something. That's not our secret room. Well, we definitely want to take the Temperance card with us. Uh, I am going to take this opportunity to go... Uh, ...and uh, fight in the Mob Trap room, just to see if we get something there. We're not going to get rerolls, which is a shame because our shop kind of sucks, but whatever. It happens. We've put ourselves in a bit of a dangerous position HP-wise here, but... ...the fact that we've had so many Spirit Hearts is what's allowed us to put ourselves in this dangerous position HP-wise, so I'm not too worried about it. Things I would like for the future. HP upgrades. Ability to fly, more guppy items, those obviously tie in. And um, if we could get some tiers upgrades, that'd be sweet as well, because our brimstone charge with zero tiers upgrades and one tier downgrade is taking a little while. More than I would like. And we got a bomb and a key out of this, so this feels pretty good. And as a result, we should be able to get to our secret room, get our money back, and not feel so bad about that five cents that I wasted getting the hangman card. Again, temperance card, much better used later on, uh, when you have another blood bank around. And we get a slot machine. I'll play it till we get down to 15 cents, just in case. You never know, maybe we'll pick up, uh, you know, two bombs or something. We didn't. That'll do it for this floor. So yeah, we're not gonna pick up the ladder, we're not gonna pick up little Chad. Sometimes people ask me, like, why don't you pick up the ladder? Like you said, it always pays for itself. This is true. I think the ladder almost always gives you enough consumables to pay- Oh, that's sweet. Uh, almost always gives you enough consumables to be worth 15 cents. You know, it only has to give you like three bombs and or keys or some, you know, 15 cents flat in like actual money for it to work or for it to be worth it. But, um, I want to save my money to buy stuff from future shops because the real thing with the, or the real reason the, uh, the ladder is not so good is not because it's not a good item, it's because there are much better items and there's a lot of scarcity, right? It's like you go to the casino and you break even. Maybe that feels like good, but if you only get to go to the casino once in your life, you'd probably rather, you know, lose than just like, lose a little bit rather than break even. I don't know if that makes sense. That might pay me as some kind of gambling addict. Uh, I have been to the casino before, I think I've probably lost a total of maybe $20 over the course of my life. But at the same time, when I lived in South Korea, there's a weird law, correct me if I'm wrong here, because this is coming from a bit of a place of ignorance. I'm gonna buy this just so we can get our money back in the blood bank anyway, but... Um, I believe there's a law that uh, South Korean natives, like people who are native to South Korea, can't actually gamble, like at a casino, or maybe at all. Uh, it, it, kind of the same way, you know, like sports betting online is illegal in the US, or online poker or something like that. Anyway. Uh, but they opened a casino for tourists in the city that I lived in, so, like, we would go there, and for the first six months, they were just doing, like, staff training, and it was the greatest time in my entire life. Free food, free drinks, we would go there and we'd play, like, a little bit of, uh, you know, blackjack, or just hang out sometimes in the restaurant, and just eat, like, two meals, and then, uh, leave. That, you know, pretty much got it right there. It was great. And if you're gonna, you know, be mad at me for taking the casino's money, Come on now. Think about what kind of business you're talking about here. This floor is a big disappointment for me. I am gonna go to the curse room. It's a big disappointment because I'm gonna have one less reroll than uh, I would like to have. I am gonna pick up the bomb bag, even though it has the same kind of concerns as uh, little Chad. I'm gonna pick it up because I prefer bombs to red hearts in our current situation, and I think that's a very viable choice. We bought mom's purse. If we find a, another trinket, we'll get one. 
We didn't get the last trinket because I, I, there's no reason for me to get uh, uh, for me to get cursed skull. It's it's more likely to be bad than good, or at least it's more likely than any other trinket in the game to be bad. I guess except for the tick for obvious reasons. Now, sure, deal with the devil for nine lives is kind of like textbook right here. Another thing that might be a bit of a saving grace is if we can just. Uh, actually fight Krampus for once I might like that. We'll get a lump of coal, plus two damage, and we'll uh, get another reroll. I can't believe that that hit me. We'll get another reroll that we can use in the future. But that's okay. Instead we got Pageant Boy, which is you know pretty much terrible for us right now. I'm uh, doubting that we're going to be able to use our uh, Blood Bank appropriately. Oh, you know what? We can go to the Mob Trap Room and get one more reroll back anyway. Yeah, we'll have to use a key to do it, but this is still probably the right idea. And then we can reroll the secret room. I was so excited for a brief moment there. I would still rather pay a bomb and reroll our secret room than, uh, than reroll the IV bag. We've already gotten some value out of the IV bag just by eradicating it from the face of the run in the future. So it's, you know, we're, we're fine. We can just come through here instead. This will give us our reroll and a flat penny, which is a great item. I wish that I'd gotten this earlier because we had uh, a lot of golden chests that we could have opened. But maybe we'll get a red heart back here and that'll allow us to play the blood bank or use the IV bag. Or both, I guess. And uh, as a result, we can get some keys back and open the other golden chest. We also have mom's purse, so we can stick with this item basically for the end of the game. Get you. Oh, that was a little scary. And we do get a penny here. This could be big for us. Come on. Ah, we tried. I'm actually going to take a second here and just uh, lower the game's volume ever so slightly. I'm just noticing in the mixer right now it seems a little high. That might be causing some issue for some people. There we go. I just lowered it a little bit. If you already couldn't hear the game, no reason to be mad because you still can't. But for everybody else, I hope this helps you out a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna come back in here and reroll our um, dad's key in the hopes of getting a better spacebar item, of which there are many. For example, free ability to fly. That's a really good one. And I think we're gonna leave this floor. The good news is, despite not having keys, we should have a very easy means to get them in the future. So we we are in a bit of a troubled situation here, but. Deal with the Devil should be coming on this floor as long as we can, you know, keep from taking red heart damage. We can fly now, which is good for business. There we go, we at least got one key out of getting hit. But we don't do very much damage, and we don't have very much health, which is not the be-all end-all yet, but obviously we're gonna hope to, you know, nip that in the bud before the future. And there's Flat Penny already being amazing for us, two keys. And Fat Odd Mushroom, great item for us to pick up here. Lowers our rate of fire slightly, I think, but uh, increases, well, doubles our health and increases our damage. Which, with our rate of fire already being bad, I would say let's just double down on having more damage. Fine by me. Still not quite one-shotting enemies, which with Brimstone is kind of, uh, I don't want to say it's the kiss of death, but it's problematic. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. You fire so rarely that you like to be able to, you know, kill enemies very, very quickly when it does work. So, what's our problem on this run? Uh, basically, Peep has a lot of HP, and we're very slow. So I worry about the eye, at least it's not bloat. We can fly over the creep, we can also stand to the side of Peep and do stuff like that. But I worry, yeah, that when he jumps, we're gonna find ourselves in a slightly uh, awkward situation here. But we're already roughly halfway through the fight. Peep is so tricky, man. Look at this trickiness. He's just jumping straight up and down. The only winning move is not to play, and he knows it. Okay, stop jumping. I guess the, the trick is just never uh, go under where he recently jumped. Because he might just go back there. So we're almost done here. Oh, he got me again, you dirty dog! Oh, thank God he died. Alright, so this... The spirit arts are helpful, the tears up is helpful, and we'll live a little longer 
which is probably the most helpful of all. The longer we live, the better our chances, I'd say. So I don't think we can pick up any of these. Because they're based on spirit hearts. That feels real bad. So I'm not even going to waste a reroll on them. I'm very displeased with that, but, uh... Hey, it's the situation we're in. So, let's just, uh, you know, stay in reality here and remember that we still have a, a good chance of success. Just gotta work a little bit harder for it. It's not gonna be handed to us. Would have preferred, like, a one-hard deal. At least I would have had a use for my reroll then. But it's okay. We don't know what the pill does. I'm not going to take it till we go to the shop. Just in case the shop ends up being worthwhile. Greed could be worthwhile. Ah, but it's not going to be greed. Yeah, this is a scary fight because we're slow. But it's also a much easier fight than it could be because we can fly. And uh, Ultra Pride... Or, yeah, this is Ultra Pride. Ultra Pride's main uh, strength is that guy throwing the creep out from underneath. The homing shot's annoying, yeah. But that creep is just the most annoying shit on the planet. Even if we get hit again, I'm not going to care too much. And left hand is a great trinket for us if we're looking to become Guppy. Which we are. And we got another key out of it as well. This is good. Alrighty. This floor is looking to be pretty straightforward. Hopefully some of these red chests end up working out for us. That was pretty good. Our rate of fire being increased is helping us out. Blue candle is uh, re-rollable for sure. We'll buy it first. Just because we have the cash for it, I want to make sure it doesn't show up again. We get Nun's Habit. This gives us pretty much as many rerolls as we want. We got Bombs or Key, which is actually, I would even say, good for us in our current situation. I'm going to buy the Tarot card just in case. Ugh. Well, that one was a total waste. That's okay, though. So if we need rerolls, we can generate them very, very easily on our... Um, Blood Bank here. That's why I was kind of hoping for a Temperance card to show up from that purchase. If you have the money, I think it is usually worth it to buy the Tarot card. Even if I don't always practice what I preach in that regard, it can be helpful. Okay. I'm hoping... Well, I'm definitely going to look for the Secret Room. If for no other reason than if it has money, it could give us a ton of keys as well. But let's see what we've got in here first. It's a Troll Bomb. That's okay. Uh, we'll get another reroll out of this. I'm not sure if we're going to get anything out of the reroll, but... Again, we got to stay firmly entrenched in reality here. This is the situation we're in. All we can do is really try to work ourselves out of it. And we're not even in a bad position. This is like a chess match, you know. We, we've got the upper hand. Maybe we traded, you know... I don't know why I'm using so many chess analogies lately. Um, but uh, we, we traded, uh, you know, maybe our knight away for a bishop or something like that. But it could easily go south. It's a very small advantage. That speed downgrade does not help. That is uh, problematic. Three secret room locations here that I can see. It's not that one. I don't think it would be adjacent to the boss room, so I, I've got a heavy hope. That doesn't even make any sense. I had a high hopes that it would be over here, and indeed it was. So we are going to... Oh, that's not the right time, considering we just spent a lot of keys, but we also have a lot of keys, so I'm not too worried about it. Um... We're going to spend a little bit of time gambling on our arcade here. I would love to get the blood bag. And that's pretty much it, but um, this would this would help me out a great deal. Oh man, that money got sorted out pretty quickly. Wow, uh, that's surprising. So we should be able to get, you know, not unlimited keys, but a lot of keys here. And if you could give me some pills maybe, like that's a fringe benefit, but... Getting some speed upgrades wouldn't hurt right now. I am quite slow. Fat Odd Mushroom. And the uh, the actual speed downgrade pill. You don't have to give me keys. If you give me red hearts, I can get the best of all worlds. I can get money, keys, and a chance. Uh, no, no. Oh, well, I pushed that right into you, didn't I? Well, as much as I think that... Uh... Oh, that's nice. As much as I think that uh, left hand is great, we're going to end up taking our Cancer Trinket here because it's one of the few that might actually be better. Even with my guppy aspirations, I think at least. We're not going to play that anymore. Is there any more HP in here? There's not, so it's down to the next floor. Where we'll be hoping for another deal with the devil, and uh, those hopes were quashed before I could even finish my sentence. But, can't be too sad because we're on the depths. This could be a lot worse. So the real question is, what's, uh, what trinket are we going to take with us after we get the Polaroid? I think to some extent that depends on what we get uh, on this floor. 
Our rate of fire is not great. So the Cancer Trinket has uses. But at the same time, we have, uh... We have, uh... Guppy's Tail. So it would be nice for us to be able to open all the golden chests. In fact, it might be critical for us to open as many golden chests as possible. That's another speed down pill. Probably not going to take that. But if we have like 30 keys, we'll probably just say, hey, we'll take the Cancer Trinket. If we pick up, you know, Skinny Odd Mushroom, use a lot of keys, we might say, hey, uh, Flat Penny's a little bit more prudent for us. But it's a quality problem to have. Either way, we're going to have, you know, one more great trinket than we usually have by this point. Please don't be small rock. Thank you. All right, we got more than enough keys to open whatever the game throws at us for now, though. That's for damn sure. Thank you. And if this shop uh, is just good for us, that'll be great because we'll have had, like, pretty much every shop has been useful except for the one with the ladder, but that wasn't that shop's problem. We do have the nun's habit, so I shouldn't play the blood bank until we find a room that we, you know, want to reroll. Plenty of bombs here. Uh, okay, that was a bit of a waste of one. I really thought it would get it, and we'll definitely open this. And it's two of clubs, which gives us more bombs, which I, I probably should have held on to it a little bit longer, but in my brain, I was like, gotta take that pill with you. Nope. No, you do not. It's bad. It's alright, we still have a lot of bombs. Miter, very easy play. We'll take we'll pick that up. Maybe gives us the HP necessary to survive in the future. I hate doing this. Like, I hate that we only have one item room here, and if there's going to be a bad item room, I wish it was that one, because our backtracking is going to be stupid now. We're so slow. It's going to take us forever to, to go back and forth between these rooms, but so be it, you know? Maybe all of our other rooms will be good, and then we'll only have to backtrack down here once. And we should remember, of course, that backtracking is, uh, thank you very much, a quality problem to have. You know, if you're backtracking, it's because you've got, uh, you've got hope. You've got hope that things are going to work out for you. And we have hope on this run. A lot of it. Um, we're very slow, and we're not crazy powerful, and we're not crazy tanky. But we're not too far away from anything, you know? We're, we need to be a straight-A student to keep our scholarship, and we've got, you know, B-pluses across the board. Bit of a, a panic-inducing situation. Of course, you'd rather just have the A's. But uh, at least you're not getting the D. Looks like a little bit of a butthole in that room. This is my own personal Rorschach test. Outsourced to the internet. I'm going to pick up Rage. I know that it has, it's a special item, and uh, some people aren't going to like it. But it does improve our damage a little bit, even if not as much as uh, there's some other items in the game that improve them more. I agree. But still, I think uh, free rage, that's the way I like to have my eggs. That's not true. I, um, as much as I would love to act like I, uh, I care about uh, organic, free range, etc., etc., I usually just buy whatever eggs are cheapest. Or if there's a small price difference, and then there's somebody that's like really doing some comparison shopping, I'll go for the second cheapest eggs, just out of convenience. You know, I, I guess I'm in a bit of a luxury position where I can afford to pay 280 for a dozen eggs instead of 269 if, uh, you know, there's somebody that's looking up the reviews for the egg farm on their phone or something like that, then I don't mind compromising in that situation. Yeah, let's just walk, like, right out in the middle of the bomb flies. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm actually in a pretty good position. Uh, be careful here. My inability to hit those guys is a little bit, you know, troubling to me. It had to happen at some point. And if we get lucky, you'll drop the steam sail. I'll reroll it into the compass, and everyone will be extremely pleased. Okay. Um, it almost worked. You got to admit, for a second, you probably, you were with me on that one. You were like, holy shit, Ryan's going to predict this one. Well, I didn't, but that's okay. Oh, the keys. The wonderful keys. And we even have a golden key left on this floor. I've already opened, like, five doors, well, three doors and, uh, like, two golden chests. We've made money on keys. Come on. Work with me here. We've also made a little HP on this floor, which is encouraging. It's not necessarily like, oh, look at how great we are. It's more like, I uh, will reroll that, too. It's more like, at least we're not so poorly off here damage-wise that we're taking more damage than we're earning 
on um, on the deaths. If this was Necropolis, I would expect that tide to be reversed, but hey, it's fine. Uh, yeah, thank you, Miter. What's better for us here? Bum friend or range upgrade? Range upgrade is straight up trash. Bum friend is actually worse than neutral. So I'm gonna reroll bum friend, especially because the shop item pool is a lot better. On average. I'll take it. It's a bit of a compromise, but it gives us rerolls to use on future stuff, and it allows us to see where the secret room is and plan for how to use our rerolls in the future, etc., etc. And yes, we can still backtrack if we need to. It's gonna be a long trip, but, uh,. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. At the very least, I should play the Blood Bank to get maximum number of keys, and, uh... uh we don't want that. Uh, to get maximum number of keys, and, you know, the chance for the HP plus speed upgrade, of which the speed upgrade is actually the more pressing concern, but... It's okay. We're starting to, you know, we've had enough advantages on this floor that we're starting to be in a very, very good position. Allow me to recaffeinate as I reroll the range upgrade up here. That got re-rolled into chocolate milk. You gotta get chocolate milk on every run, and you gotta get Abel on every run. Now we've had both of them, and we can move on. Abel was re-rolled into the bomb bag for us. Which is apparently working out pretty well right now, because we have 30 of them. No special synergies, but that's okay. Suboptimal, but... Oh well. And we're only one room away from... Our uh, next reroll. If this is a library down here, the floor becomes a lot more interesting slash annoying. Uh, it's actually a boss trap room, which carries some of the same concerns, but is also a little bit easier for us to exploit. So we're gonna save all of our backtracking until the end, if it's at, e at all possible. Just because I'd rather not go back and forth between these rooms more than is necessary. At this point, you know, keeping morale and enthusiasm up is as as pressing a concern as uh, min-maxing. I think. Remote detonator, uh, worst case scenario is five bombs. Best case scenario? Five Mr. Mega homing bombs, I guess? If you have other synergies than remote detonator, you know, the bombs become more valuable. Whatever. Five free bombs is a pretty good room. We didn't expect to get it, and we didn't even spend a key on it. Well, I really thought that you would die in one hit. That's a surprise to me. Alright, speed up. Friends till the end. Pretty much the same thing if you don't think about it too hard. Why did we generate flies there? Do we have, like, infestation or something that I totally forgot about? So, I'm thinking that we're likely going to end up rolling with... Cancer. Because the flat penny is great, but we're going to have at least 23 keys when we leave this floor. It's mathematically impossible for us to have less than 23 keys when we leave the floor. My thinking is that the Cancer Trinket will be much better. We haven't really had any tiers upgrades this floor. So the D20 is uh, useful in many ways, but I'm going to not use it on our... I should... I'm not. <laughs> I'd rather just get the rerolls from the... Uh, from the Blood Bank and, you know... Take this floor. Here's the thing. My enthusiasm for breaking is directly proportional to the amount of time, not breaking, but like min-maxing, is directly proportional to the amount of time it takes me to do it. And because my speed is so low and the arcade is so far away, I don't want to do like six trips back and forth between the, the arcade and, you know, then get more rerolls to use on the D6 instead of the D20 and, you know, your golden chests open into other golden chests and stuff like that. Like, that's all well and good and it would be interesting, but it would also be like mind stupefyingly boring in my opinion and if you want to see that you know we're nearly on episode a thousand I think you know which other content creators to look for sometimes people uh, they they think that I have a beef with like other Isaac creators because we have different styles of play this is very much not true it's not true at all this snap and I talk uh, on occasion and uh, we we have an affable rapport you know, we, we don't live in the same city, we don't go out for brunch every weekend or anything like that, but we're, we're both, uh, you know, good guys. I mean, obviously he plays the game in a way that is sinful, but that doesn't mean that we can't get along. Same with, like, you know, Cobalt Streak. Sometimes people are like, Northern Line, Cobalt Streak plays the game much differently than you. Like, do you hate each other? What planet do you live on? Absolutely not. He's a good guy. He's got a, a magnificent beard. That alone begets a certain amount of respect. As I 
you know, scratch my own patchy one here. This isn't a beard grown out of pride, though. This is a beard grown out of sloth. So what do we do here? I'm the laziest Isaac player in the world. We all know that to be true. We might as well just uh, accept that at face value coming in. I'm going to take myself down to half of a red heart, if I can, before it pays out with the blood bag. My hope, of course, is that this pays out fantastically for us. Um, if not, we'll have a reroll. We'll use that on whatever that was back up there that I decided I didn't want. Wow, that was fast. Uh, there's no IV bag, so I'm super stoked about this, don't get me wrong. But this is going to make it so we can't go to our boss trap room. Oh well, that's still good. And we're still slow. But we do have a reroll that we'll use on um, that golden chest that we've been rerolling for ages. And luckily we didn't end up having to min-max too much of this floor. The extra HP is pretty good, but um, the speed is nice. I now feel like I can slightly dodge, even though our speed is lower than um, lower than standard, I think. Those will probably be our last keys on this floor, and that's absolutely, totally A-OK. -okay. Uh, this has been one of the best flat pennies I think we've ever had. We're up to 27 keys. We're n unlikely to use 27 keys by the end of the game. Let's just, you know, be honest with that. Oh, it was the D20, I remember now. Hey, you know, Rainbow Baby's OK. All right, this is good. So we're going to be heading down to, well, we're going to be heading to the mom fight, which I expect is going to go pretty well. Then we've got map for the next floor. We're going to be very much hoping for a deal with the devil. Hopefully that allows us to become guppy. Although at this point, I would prefer maybe just like one kind of conservative deal to pick up the mark or something. Or the pact. Up our tears, up our damage, anything along those lines. For now though, let's, um, you know, we know what position we're in. We have a big benefit in the vein of crowd control, but our individual brimstone shots are kind of trashed here. You can see. This is a run that, it, by definition, or kind of like via necessity, has to be a little bit more defensively focused. Because we can fly, we have uh, two-thirds of a suite of orbitals, even though they're probably inarguably the worst orbitals, and we have the miter. So a lot of our, uh, a lot of our focus is just going to be on not taking damage and like living long enough to do damage to the enemy. I'm very much hoping we pick up some kind of like stellar offensive item soon because that's pretty much the only thing we're lacking that would really push us over the top and make me feel a lot more, you know, abundantly confident than I am right now. Two HP upgrades here is pretty solid. Um, again, thank you for your service, Flat Penny. You did a great job. We've got to stick with the Cancer Trinket because it fixes our best weakness or our biggest weakness right now. Apart from that, it's down to the next floor. All right, this is a sweet floor here. Um, interesting look to it. Without the compass, we don't know uh, what these terminals are. These, uh, you know, the, the dead ends, for lack of a better word. Well, there is a better word, it's terminal. Now. That means we will explore them as necessary because there could be, there won't be an arcade, but there could be a library. As much as I don't relish libraries for the most part, they do have their place if we find them kind of accidentally. Trading zero keys for a gold or for a uh, spirit heart is a trade that is pretty freaking solid. And it was zero keys. We'll continue doing this trade because it continues working out fantastically for us. Still at 27 keys. This is just a dead end. All right. That's fine. Well, we have a reroll. Let's check into our secret room. Number one priority, still deal with the devil. That's Bob's Rotten Head. Bob's Rotten Head is real bad. We'll get ourselves a shortcut to that terminal, and we'll get the Ankh. And I think the Ankh is absolutely worth picking up as a kind of a failsafe. I had a feeling I might take damage there. Well, the okay thing about taking damage is that we can fight our boss and have a reroll ready right away. It's going to be Conquest because no, like run that has the chance of going wrong would feel right unless you fought Conquest in the process, right? Conquest is just the dude that makes your life, your hard life, already a little harder. So rarely when you have Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, you know, Guppy, all the damage items in the game, do you end up fighting Conquest. It always seems like you fight Conquest when it's like, well, we really need uh, to not take damage on this fight to win, and it's Conquest. It's like the, it's the Larry Jr phenomenon, sorry, not Larry Jr., Gertie Jr. phenomenon, where if you uh, need to not take damage on your, your second boss fight, 
to get a deal with the devil. Sorry, there's a double blue Gertie Jr. in there. Life sucks. You know, the sooner you realize it, uh, the less you're gonna hurt. The game's trying to teach you uh, a very misguided lesson. I always hate that lesson where people are like, well, you should get used to people, like, I was a dick because you need to learn that people are dicks in this world. That's the most self-fulfilling prophecy of all time. That's when people are like, well, yeah, I was mean, but you can't get offended by mean comments on the internet because people on the internet are mean. It's gonna happen. It's like you paint yourself as like being above the meanness because you did it being self-aware. No, you're self-perpetuating the meanness, man. If everybody was just nice, then that wouldn't be a, as nearly as much of a problem. You say, well, everybody's not gonna be nice. Okay, sure. But you could be nice. One less mean person. is It's like, well, if I stopped murdering people, you know, there would still be murderers. Sure, but who's gonna say, like, you know, one less murderer? Ah, no big deal. People would be like, shit, yeah, fuck that, dude. Thanks for stop. well, not thanks, maybe, but I'm glad you stopped murdering people. That was a really nice turn of events. We all appreciate that. I don't know. That's obviously a, a grandiose analogy here, but it's always like, well, I'm sorry I was mean, but other people are mean, so I'm gonna be mean. It's like, wow, you're kind of a dick. If other people jumped off a cliff, would you do it? Really, the game wants to give us a range upgrade here. I'm not super excited about it. I'm trying to say, eh, we already have unlimited range, and it's saying, but maybe you want to try this? No, I don't. All right, let's come up here. We're in a, a super weird spot. Uh, Mom's heart should be easy, if only because we have so many bombs. What's weird about it? Northern line, you have brimstone and flying. You should be set. Uh, normally, I'd agree with you, and we still might be set. But our damage is real, real bad. This is not a special room, much to my surprise. Uh, which means there's only going to be one special room, apart from the boss room and the mob trap room, I guess. Uh, we'll see what it is. But uh, normally, I'd agree with you, but our damage is so bad. Like, we're not one-shotting these guys. These guys have a decent amount of HP, but still. You see it when we fight our bosses. Uh, it, it takes us, like seven hits uh, to even do an appreciable amount of damage. When we fight Isaac, that fight could end up being like, uh, I don't know, eight or nine minutes long? I'm, that sounds like an exaggeration, and it probably will end up being an exaggeration, but I sort of don't feel like it's a total exaggeration. All right, we'll take meat and leave, because that's a, a bit of an offensive upgrade for us, plus a defensive upgrade, but anyway. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. We're in a very good defensive position, and like on paper, it looks like we got a pretty good offensive setup, but I don't know if we actually do. Senate, a secret room ended up working out like surprisingly neutral for us, in a good way. I was concerned that we would end up uh, getting screwed on it, but it doesn't appear so. Pretty much broke even. Might have found our way to the boss room very quickly. Can't believe you're not dead yet. There we go. Boss room? Boss room. Could be missing out on some special rooms. That's A-OK -okay by me. Let's get this mom's hard fight done quickly. As quickly as possible when you're not even one-shotting the turrets. Bombs are going to be an incredibly integral part of the uh, experience here. Yeah, Monstro is going to take a little while. I don't think Monstro is actually our main concern now. It's like messing up our bomb. Yeah, because he's still relatively easy for us. It's messing up our bomb and having to like... 10 shot some more difficult enemies if we end up getting to that point. Taking care of the zombies is good. The zombies were one of those enemies I was thinking of that would be really annoying for us. Duke of Flies, another one. But hey, we got the permanent bomb state. It was really our bombs that, you know, made this happen for us. And that's okay. Little Gish also doing a, a bang up job of uh, keeping mom's hearts relatively slow here. And that fight is over. So we'll be headed up to the cathedral. Uh, where we can't see shit. Which means, uh, we're pretty much just gonna be flying blind here. And by pretty much, I mean, like, we're 100% gonna be flying blind. Terrible damage on my part there. We do have the wafer! We picked up the wafer super early, right? I totally forgot about that. Okay, so never mind. That's the danger of picking up the wafer so early, is that you forget about it and internalize it. And you forget about the fact that, hey, actually, we're taking half damage for the remainder of the, the late game floors here. That's pretty freaking good. So we're actually, like, if we don't get hit again, we just made HP on that floor. Alright, so I apologize. I, I've accidentally misrepresented the difficulty of this run. It's not a one run yet, and it's gonna be freaking annoying to fight Isaac, Blue Baby, enemies with a lot of HP. I would love to get some extra damage. 
But, you know, by pretty much doubling our HP and having the miter, we're in a really, really good position here. It's just going to take a while for that good position to really, you know, come to fruition, I think. Tammy's head is not the, uh, you know, killer offensive item I was hoping for. Neither was the scapular, but we have it, so I'm going to take it. Scapular's all right. I'm going to open this because who knows what it could be. Now all we need is money equals power to make me feel a little bit more uh, vindicated in that pickup. And meat is actually maybe done more for us than I would have expected. We're not one-shotting Chubb, but we're doing better. Oh, two monsters. I should have known that it's two monsters, but the other one was covered up. So I was just like, ah, one monster. That's pretty easy. Ooh, when they're slowed, the jumps become a little uh, erratic. Not erotic, even though it sounded like I just said erotic with a funny accent. One more hit should yeah, wow. Oh, so good. Okay, the High Priestess card is not uh, a game, you know, winner for us by itself. But its existence totally means that we'll have a little bit of a shorter fight against Isaac and Blue Baby. Well, Isaac. Not Blue Baby. Unless the card mysteriously replicates itself, in which case... I will truly be uh, the possessor of the greatest uh, skill in the Binding of Isaac. Now, thank you. Uh, I would prefer to maybe take out the bombs. Oh, thank you very much. We also found the secret room there. Much to my surprise. And hey, that's the one-up. With as much HP as we have, I think I'm totally content taking the one-up. We've gone so far on this end of the floor that I can't help but feel like we're coming close to uh, the boss. Might not be worth a bomb. Was not worth a bomb. Blood Bank's a little interesting. Like, we could go for it and, you know, best case scenario, you get the Blood Bank. Worst case scenario, you put yourself in a position where you're going to die, but you have a one-up anyway, but no. I, uh, that's a fallacy. I think it's flawed reasoning because our spirit hearts are extremely valuable right now. We have a lot of them. We would lose that. Maybe a second secret room? Nah, that's okay. Hey, friends, till the end will help us out a little bit. Small rock, I'm gonna take it even though we're already slow and this will just make us slower. Um, the, the extra damage I think is worth it. All right, I don't think that did too much, but it's, it's enough to hurt him a little bit. I don't really care if friends till the end goes in there and does damage. I mean, I would like it to, but either way, we're gonna be fine on this fight. The addition of the small rock helps out a little bit. Shouldn't be as excited about it as I am, but I am. Almost halfway through it. I'm gonna start kicking some bombs in just to speed up the, the whole seduction process here. And that's, uh, I think, more or less landed. So about 80% of the way through the fight, maybe a little bit more at this point. Stop with that shenaniganery. That's a real word. You can look it up. After you look it up, tweet me and tell me if it's a real word. Because I just made that shit up on the spot. Shakespeare. Why is it that when Shakespeare makes up words, he's a pioneer? When I make up words, I'm uh Oh, that's not a real word. Have some creativity. Mr. Mega, we will take. Look of Shadows, we won't. Same with Spider-Butt. And Luckfoot. I think it's a little too little too late for Luckfoot to really give us the benefit that we would want to see. So, uh, we'll, we'll definitely take Mr. Mega, because we've been using bombs a lot. Polyphemus, no question about it. This should put us at the point where we're pretty much one-shotting uh, all enemies, which is a really nice position to be in. There's PhD. We'll probably end up picking that up just because it's a much less viable reroll target because there's less golden chests around. Now, it takes us forever to get our Brimstone Shot charged. Wow. All right, that's pretty good. But once it is charged... Look out. For example. Okay, I'm going to stand right here even though it's crazy risky. And we're going to have to do this again, unfortunately, because I'm a little silly. This run is totally going to work out for us. I'm going to pick up the quarter because we're not going to have time to reroll all this stuff. Should have been charging a shot on the way in here. We probably can one-shot greed. Uh, that wasn't even close. That wasn't even like what we can probably one-shot greed. That was like... The atoms touched him, and he was disintegrated, like a Cure album. I'll take this again, because we're not going to reroll anything uh, that's just a single target at this point. Both of those are uh, trashed here, as you know. 
This is also a room that I would consider to be pretty trashy, considering there's absolutely nothing going on. And that was sweet as heck. Well, now we know, barring some kind of miracle where the boss room ends up, like in that middle left section, the boss room is going to be like five rooms away on the upper left here. Which is fine. Again, when we're like one-shotting every enemy, it's hard to be too salty about what's going on here. We didn't end up becoming Guppy. But that is A-OK. -okay. The Miter worked out extremely well for us. The Wafer worked out extremely well for us. And, you know, to be honest with you, I expected to be a lot less comfortable on this run than we ended up being. Um, the fact that we are in such like a dominant position right now is very surprising to me. I know we have a reroll, but you should also know that this run is already over. It just hasn't ended yet. There we go. X-ray goggles, the perfect item to take into our last room here. Yeah, Mr. Mega, Polyphemus, Brimstone, ability to fly, the wafer. It all ended up working out. If I could do it over again, I would. But I would also prefer to have Polyphemus a little earlier. Beggars can't be choosers. You're probably getting tired of my incessant complaining considering how comfortably we just won. This all being said, there were some moments there where I was frustrated with our lack of damage. Come on now. Just explode. Thank you. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.